you have to figure out what the final goal of what you're doing is going to be. And that's not how we live our lives. It's not even close to how we live our lives. We live our lives one day at a time without a sense of larger goals or larger pictures or larger purposes or anything like that. We live our lives forwards. We understand our lives backwards. What is it that we're aiming to have said about us? What is the bridge that we're trying to build in the short time that we have? What impression do we want to leave in people's minds? What impression, what crater do we want to leave upon the world? That, to me, is so essential to the living of a life that we can truly be proud of. A truly enriching life for the planet. Where love was possible, he gave it. Where love was earned, he gave more. And where love was spurned, he did not cast his pearls before swine. If someone doesn't have the capacity for anger, their compassion, their, quote, gentleness, means nothing to me. And for me, aiming for my eulogy is a way of overcoming the endless temptations towards pettiness and smallness that surround me. Because the present always tempts us with pettiness, with smallness, with distraction, right? With mere reactions, with defensiveness, with cowardice, with all the things that I struggle with, that you struggle with, we all struggle with. But tell me, tell me, tell yourself, what do you want said around your coffin? How do you want people to feel about your passing from this world? What residue, what after image do you want to leave in people's minds? What do you want people to remember about you? What are they going to cry about when you slip into nothing? There is no time in the future for courage. There is only time for courage now. What are they going to miss? How many people are going to be there? What are they going to say? Is it going to be a funeral that they go to and they're sad and then a month later they're not <laughs> and don't think of you much? What is the after image not just of your life but of your funeral in people's minds? How much of yourself are you going to give to implant as like a beneficial virus in other people's minds? Will the challenge and creativity and generosity and originality of your life raise their sense of what it is to be human forever? Why not? Why not have that as a goal? That, I guarantee you, will help you organize your life, what you're going to do with it, and help you keep steady when the going gets rough, as it always does. To help you keep strong when the going gets rough, as it always does. Help you stand tall in the face of biting, sniping criticism, which is inevitable. You can't lift humanity without some bite marks. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. And to learn to uh, relish even those, right? As the scars of a noble battle. But what is your eulogy going to look like? If the person you end up loving the most in this world is going to give you a eulogy, what is she going to say? What is he going to say? What are your children going to say? 
about you as a parent, about you as a mentor, about you as a coach, about you as a friend. Who will mourn you and why?